Hey everybody, happy summer. I know it's not technically summer, but the semester just ended here at Clemson, and so for me, it is summer. It's been a while since I posted my last video. I'm sorry about that. Things get a little crazy with the end of the semester with finals, and I hope your finals all went well, or if you have finals coming up, I hope they go well. But the end of this semester got me thinking, and it inspired today's topic, and that is academic integrity. I love my job. I love what I do. I get up every morning and I'm excited to go to work. I love working with students. I love teaching. I love doing research, exploring new things. I love computer science. But there's one thing that I absolutely hate about my job, and it's dealing with cheating. The vast majority of my students are great. I love working with them. It's really a pleasure to teach them. And a handful just frustrate me. Occasionally, I get a semester off. But this semester, I was not so lucky. I did have a few people who tried to find code on the internet and turn it in as their own. And today, I just wanted to talk about this in the hopes that I can prevent some very difficult consequences, both short-term and long-term. So how's it happen? You're in a tough semester, you're taking a lot of classes, you're getting behind, you're struggling in one of them, and you start to think, I'm not gonna be able to get this done. This project's too hard. There's not enough time. I've got too much going on. And of course there's Google and you stumble across some code that does something very similar to what your professor's asking you to do. And it's super tempting to just copy that code and modify it a little bit. And you think, hey, maybe I'll be really clever and I'll just change the variable names and you know some function names and I'll move some stuff around and it'll be great. But today I wanna give you a few reasons not to do this. The first and most obvious is you can get caught and it can have a big impact on you academically. You can get kicked out of school, you can get, you can fail classes, you can get a reputation as a student that can't be trusted. It often baffles me that people cheat in computer science classes because if any faculty member at the university can catch you, I can. I have many tools at my disposal that don't require any effort from me. I have programs that can run that do a great job of detecting patterns and pattern similarities, and I can compare your code with every other piece of code that's ever been turned in in my class in maybe 15 minutes. And before you consider this a challenge and go to all this effort to try to beat these tools, if you're smart enough to beat these tools, you're smart enough to do the project in the first place. So why take the risk? The second reason is that this is a colossal waste of everybody's time. Faculty have different attitudes about cheating. Some just say, I don't have time to deal with it. Some people say, I'm not the police. These are grown ups, and if they want to ruin their lives, then they can ruin their lives. But consider this. My students are paying a lot of money to learn skills that are going to help them in their lives. And I go to a lot of work to make what I teach engaging, interesting and relevant in the hope that it will make a difference to you. And when you cheat in my class, you're basically saying, oh, I didn't actually want that education anyway. It would be like going to a restaurant and paying someone to go to a lot of effort to make you this beautiful, delicious meal. And they bring it out and they're so excited to watch you enjoy it and watch it just be like life-changing, right? That's how restaurants are. How do you think it would go over if you picked it up, threw it on the ground and said, hey, all I really wanted was a receipt? Well, that's kind of how it feels to me when you cheat in my class. I don't know how often this occurs to my students, but I didn't become a professor for the money. I also don't have to put as much effort into my classes as I do put into my classes. But there's something very satisfying about watching my students come back and tell me about the way that my class changed their lives. By telling me how the thing that I taught them was so valuable professionally. I love talking to employers who say, thank you for sending me the students that you send me. And to me, that's awesome. That's so fulfilling. It makes me just glad that I do this. The point is, we're trying to help you. I'm trying to help you not just to get a good job, but I'm trying to help you keep that job after you graduate. Your degree may get you hired. I'm trying not to get you fired. But what if one, you never get caught? And two, you don't mind if you don't have any skills. You don't mind throwing away a perfectly good education that's right there for you and that you've paid for. And you don't mind maybe getting fired because you're a crappy programmer after you graduate. If you don't care about any of these things, I give you reason number three. And that is that your personal integrity is a valuable thing. Honesty helps you have confidence in yourself. It helps you look people in the eye. It helps you build strong relationships. It helps you take joy in what you do. That is something that I think everybody longs for. At least I hope it is. So if you do it for no other reason, do it for yourself. Because cheating is never worth it. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting others, you're devaluing the degree that the other people are getting at your university. Maybe that's number four I didn't mention. Reason number four is that your classmates' degrees, the reputation of your institution goes downhill when someone hires you and you don't know what you're doing. Even if you fail a class, even if you have to withdraw, even if it extends your timeline on graduation, the consequences will always be worse if you lose your integrity. So that's all for today. I hope that's helpful to you. Maybe I can help you avoid making poor decisions that are going to negatively impact your life. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.